Peace. Divine blessings, tribe. Hope everyone is well. See if some more people come through. Instagram doing this thing, saying we're telling your followers that you've started a live video. So meanwhile, between time, I'm going to get into the topic. This same video will be posted on the Tantric Research Institute YouTube. Now it says, hang on, we're telling more followers to join. Okay, regardless of that, we're going to get into the topic here. The topic at hand is concerning parents, caretakers, which are those same people that before you came into this earth incarnation, you yourself chose the characteristics of these that would make you up, that would make that would be part of your makeup, excuse me. You chose these characteristics in the male part of you and the female. Your mom, your your mother and your father. Now, your mother and your father's purpose is for bringing that divine seed into this earth plane so that the karmatic work can begin. It's hard for me hearing from, uh, from especially from conscious people or people that claim to be on the spiritual path Hey, Raven, how you doing? So, you know, it's hard for me to hear that you call your parents Babylon. Like, what kind of confusion is that? What kind of Babylon is that? That you call your parents Babylon, my Babylon mother and my Babylon father? That doesn't work here. That's not part of the divine plan. Before, again... I'm going to start back from saying what I was saying earlier. Before you incarnated on this earth plane, you chose these two beings, which have the DNA, the attributes, which are part of your makeup. So without your parents' existence, you would be nothing. You wouldn't really come into this incarnation. You see what I'm saying? So for you to, to just call them out, call, call, you know, call it off, sign them off and just call them Babylon parents. That's detrimental to the divine plan, because according to the divine plan, we must have parents. That's the only way we can have an incarnation An incarnation can occur. For you even to be here, it had to be through parents making love together. They made that good love, brought you into, you know, created that seed, which was in the, in the belly. It could be from a period of five to nine months, because I'm not going to limit it to just the nine months, because not every woman goes that far. But for that period in time, you were in, in the belly. You were in the womb, excuse me, not even the belly, in the womb, growing, coming, you coming into consciousness, coming into your, your in remembering who you are. So how could you disrespect the vessels that brought you here? How could you disrespect the vessels that brought you here? These are divine beings. Again, we didn't choose you. It, it wasn't that they chose you. You chose them. You put the information in them. They made you. So there, therefore, to disregard them, to call them names, to put them down as if they're some kind of lower being, just because they don't necessarily subscribe to exactly what you're thinking, and that's going to be true. You're going to have those. You're going to have those those fights with with your parents because they don't exactly. Think how you think. They don't believe exactly what you believe. But nonetheless, you chose them. You brought them. You, that, that, so again, so with, that, with that being said, we have to remember that 
the roles that all these different people play, whether we know it or not, we manifested these people in our lives. Whether it's it's whether it's our parents, our siblings, we chose exactly what family we were going to come into. What kind of family we were going to come to? It's part. It's all part of. It's all part of this divine plan. In order for you to know yourself, you have to have that connection with that particular bloodline which you came through. That bloodline contains the DNA, the information codes, which have all the information within, that's within your Akashic records. You see, so parents, caretakers, people, you know what I'm saying? Whether there's somebody who's a, who ha, who's a long lasting relation, whether somebody who's just a short term relation, we all manifested it for our growth for our education, for our spirit to, con to continue to expand. So don't disregard anyone in creation, even if, say, for instance, you know, we do have the case where somebody may get on your nerves. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that I, that, that I don't fight or, you know, I don't, I don't argue with people. I try not to, but it, it will happen that you may have an argument with a certain person, but even that particular argument, it's a manifestation that need that needed to come forward in your karmatic path so that you can learn your lessons to ascend. So even if somebody got on your nerves and wanted to fight you or even even just, not even want to, but somebody actually did fight you, or go out of their way to, you know, to tussle it with you. That particular manifestation is for you to learn. So everything around you in your immediate environment. And now I'm going to go into, the, you know, first I was talking about people. Now we're talking about environment. You know, the kind of people we hang out around. The, you know what I'm saying? What we actually watch. It's all part of what, of, of our divine program. Why? Again, it's for, for nothing but lessons to be learned. Thank you, Aja uh, Z2S. Thank you, sister. Blessings. Thank you. Time check nomad. Blessings. And thank you. Uh, whoops. I uh, changed the position of the camera. So my good people, it's, you know, the reason why I made this video is, again, I was just listening to some stuff, you know, on online. And I was like, listening to some, some of these beings talk. And they were like, Babylon parents. And, you know, speaking of their parents in a way as if they were bad people. When I'm like, wait a minute. You do realize, right, that you can't just run away. And now this is other thing, too, now, because I'm going to go, I'm going to touch it with the, with the concept of Babylon. Because everybody, you know, there's the, you know, the words is being kind of thrown out. You know, I remember hearing it first through the Rastafari movement. Which, you know, I form a part of since I was uh, 14, 14 years old. You know what I'm saying? It's been, it's been a long time. But long story short, there are some ideas that at the time, it seemed like it was uh, like I was on the right path. That I was actually doing the right thing. But then I learned through maturity that I wasn't making the right decisions. That I was speaking only following the group's mentality. Now, we have all got this mentality that we have to leave Babylon. We have to come out of Babylon. Babylon, Bab you know, Babylon is evil. Babylon is confusion. And then, but I had to really, you know, as years went by, I had to really introspect and check myself. I'm like, I'm trying to get away from this system, you know, which particularly enslaves me. Uh... You know, there's police brutality within that system. People victimize each other. There's conspiracies that work against our, our being. You know, there's a lot of things that are, that, are, that, that are tied to Babylon in which we try to get away from these things because we think that if we get away from evil and then pick up righteousness, then we're on the right path. But then what you start to learn is that this very same thing which you call evil or you call Babylon, is really nothing but an extension of yourself. So you can't really, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a, a saying, 
I'm going to go, I'm going I'm to I'm quote Bob Marley here, but Bob Marley said it the best. You running and you running and you running away. You running and you running and you running away. But you can't run away from yourself. You can't run away from yourself. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we all attempt to do when we, we uh, take off on situations where we t tend to hide in our little hole whenever a little situation comes through. We feel trapped. So in order to get ourselves out of that situation, we go, we escape. So-called escape. And it's only really a mental escape. But the true fact is that we never did escape the situation. Nonetheless, the mentality that we're trying to run away from is still there. The people we're trying to run away from still there. And so on and so forth. So you can't run away into, into this place of peace. What we have to do as a people, we have to embrace our journeys as is. Sorry about that, people. Phone ringing. Phone ringing, phone ringing. And that kind of threw me off a little bit, but it's okay. Not my phone, her phone. But yeah, so um, back to what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? So we, we're all like trying to get into this utopian situations where we're running into nature to live in nature and be amongst the creatures and all this other stuff. But yet, what about what's outside of that particular area that we're thinking of hiding? You know what I'm saying? We, because oftentimes when we go in nature, and I can say I've done it plenty of times. <sighs> Plenty of times, plenty of times, especially dealing with this uh, with this ec with this uh, ec economic bubble that we ever economic trouble more so that we are all kind of experiencing in this particular system. You know, I decided to make a, a you know make make some decisions which basically took me out of it. But then I realized, wait a minute, there's people out here who want to learn. So I'm in the, I'm in the middle of like nowhere. I'm talking about it took me four hours to come down off the mountain type stuff. I'm way up there, totally isolated from society, didn't see nobody, didn't hear nobody, didn't, I didn't have a phone that I, I had a phone, but my phone didn't have any signal. There's no internet, no connection to anything. I've done that. And I'm going to tell you the results of doing that. I started to become paranoid. <laughs> okay. I started to, instead of coming in touch with myself, I started losing touch with myself. And that has nothing to do, because some people will say, oh, you weren't in nature, right? And you were missing back. No, 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 no. This is something that we all go through. Isolate yourself for a period of time. As a matter of fact, do an experiment. Lock yourself up in a room for, let me just say a period of three days. And write down the results of what, what you start thinking. You're going to start seeing your firm planted, you know what I'm saying, self, start to. And that's the reason why, for instance, even in monasteries, you would see, for example, even uh, back in California, I would see actual Buddhist monks leave the monastery to keep the balance. So sometimes you see them in the shopping malls and the restaurants, so on and so forth. Why? Because of the sake of balance so imagine you yourself being out you know you can't even get on check your notifications on your phone you can't talk to somebody even if like say you're suffering an affliction and you want to talk to a friend imagine being in that position where you can't even talk to a friend because you're so isolated you know and then we have the tendency to say that the separation is illusion the first Separate the first instance of separation was when we decided to separate ourselves from society. Which look at what's what how does that help if we the light leave society? Who is there to shine the light? So does that mean that sentient beings are abandoned because of my own personal selfishness? My need to get away from it all? Excuse me, let me read this um, comment. So true. I isolate myself in my daily life when I come around people, even friends. I get paranoid that they're against me in some, in some way. Well, Empress, you're not alone. You're not alone. I know, that, I know that feeling. I oftentimes, you know, go through it. 
because it does seem that way, especially when you're on this particular path. You know, our thoughts, our thought process is already different from the from from you know some of the more like you know regular people. I don't want to say sheeple because you know that's that I'm not going to disrespect people that are on the evolutionary path. That's why I don't like to use that term sheeple. But you know what I mean? When we, we oftentimes do this thing because there are against us. But guess what? What we got to do is shine our light even more, show our love even more. And that's what I, you know, that's the only advice I have because that's what I've been doing in order to survive out here, in order to maintain out here. Because if not, then I would probably go right back to nature and, and, you know, and deal with so many different afflictions, which I, you know, I had to deal with out there. So it's, you know, it's imperative that, you know, that you keep, you know, you, you keep building with these people nonetheless, because they're, you manifested them for a reason. You, you have them in your life for a reason. Otherwise, you would have already called it off. You would have cut them off. There's a reason why they're not cut off. So for that reason, maintain those relationships, maintain them, you know what I'm saying? But keep shining your light coming from here. Love, love, keep the love flowing, keep it vibrating. Keep it beaming. Keep it shining, beaming. That's the best advice I have for in, in those situations. Because trust me, I know that feeling. Sometimes I, I be feeling the same way too. Like, yo, you know what? I might as well just take myself away. And I've done that. I'm, a, I'm not even going to say I'm going to say it to y'all openly. For the, mo the, the main reason why most of y'all didn't even see me on a live video was part of that. I felt the need to isolate myself because, you know, I felt like there was a lot of energies that were not with, but more like against. But there's a need to come out of that. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, there's sentient beings out here who want the light and want the wisdom. And what's the point of me separating myself? That means less light in the world. If we continue this process of continuously separating ourselves from the masses. So what we have to do is, is yes, be in this world, deal with it. Don't be of it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get caught up in it. Don't get wrapped up in the day to day because you do also have to balance out, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with all these uh, constant bombardment of electromagnetic frequencies which come through the radio, the TV, the music, the, the, the phone itself. You know what I'm saying? So what we got to do is even though all of that is going on, our world that we live in, we're constantly making it better, making the world more natural and eco-friendly. It should be more of our mission as, as opposed to separating from the world. And I've heard this yesterday. I was listening to another uh, elder which, kind of, which inspired this reasoning. You know, it's something that we've said in the past as well. Because, you know, we, again, we, we want to live in this particular natural setting and this utopia. But the truth of the matter is, that utopia could be right here, right now. It doesn't have to be a specific place. It doesn't have to be that you got your passport, jump on an airplane, and go to another country. That bliss that you're looking for is right here, right now, at this moment, as we speak. So my people, I know I've been talking for a little bit. Don't want to make it long winded because there's much more information to come. That concept of leaving Babylon, that idea of your parents being evil, that idea of just getting rid of all evil things and just embrace all this light. It's unbalanced, people. Let's get ourselves on a, on a point where we're balanced and there'll be much more videos to come. Thank you to everyone that has shown up. Gail, peace and love, long time. You already know. So my good people, I'm gonna be leaving y'all with this message. Um, I'm, and also this video, for those that came in kind of late, this video will be available on the Tantric Research Institute YouTube channel. Come check us out. There'll be a whole lot of more videos coming out. Um, like I said, I no longer feel to isolate myself. I did that enough time as a monk and trying to just stay away from people. But now it's time to come amongst the people and show the love. Peace and divine blessings. Love to one and all. We'll see each other soon.